hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm bringing you an acrylic overlay video um i haven't done one of these in a while so i was just like why not so i'm starting off basically by pushing back her cuticles using a cuticle pusher and um this video is in real time i decided to leave it in real time because overlays don't take that long anyways um and i don't think i have a video in real time so i'm gonna start uploading like application videos in real time so that you guys can see um just the process of it being in real time since it's always like sped up not all of my videos will be in real time a majority of them will be sped up just for like the time like just for like for the video not to be too long because videos are long anyways um but yeah so this is all in real time like i think the entire video is in real time so i'm just using um this ceramic cuticle bit to kind of like lift up her um like the dead skin from the nail plate um she did get a soak off like prior to this so like her cuticles aren't like terrible at all like they i didn't really have to do that much cuticle work um for this client um what was i gonna say yeah with um overlay i do try to make sure that i go in and do like a bit of extra cuticle work because obviously overlay is meant to look as natural as possible so um i just make sure i go the extra mile to make sure that like all the dead skin and dead cuticle is off like the nail plate to make like the application like proper like seamless um and i'm just going in with um a 180 grit sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail and i was really glad when i got this client to do um, an overlay like as soon as i saw her nail beds i was like yep this is an opportunity to film because obviously she's got the length and her her like nails came shaped like this like guys i barely had to do anything in terms of shaping her nails i only shaped it after um i had applied acrylic just to you know um resharpen the shape but other than that like i did not touch her natural nails that much because she's done like a great job at growing them out and she said that prior to that she had been getting um builder in a bottle so biab or biab or however the hell you say it so she'd just been getting biab on her nails um so that's basically what grew out her nails and i'm just going in now with a um what's this called again a cuticle nipper guys sorry my mind went so blank going in with a cuticle nipper to nip the cuticles um there was not really that much there like you can see i'm literally just cleaning cleaning it up not really doing too much um because to me her cuticles were fine so yeah that's what i'm doing And then I'm going in now with my dehydrator and primer and I'm just applying that all to her nail bed. Firstly going in with the dehydrator from Nail Nails. And then after that has dried, I will go in and use my primer from Mia Secret, um, which will all be linked down below. So now I'm just going in with this nude colour that I mixed. Um, like I said, in, was it my previous video or like two videos ago? Like, don't ask me what colour because honestly, I don't know. Like, I just mix whatever. Like, even sometimes when a client comes back and they want a certain nude, it's just like, well, in that time I mix the nude so I can try and recreate it, but I don't have like a set colour kind of thing. 
I hope you guys understand what I mean. But yeah, so I'm just going in with this colour. Um, sorry that it's so dark, guys. I don't know what is going on with my lighting, but it does get better. Um, and I'm just literally just using one bead for this pinky nail. I will go back and put an, another bead on the nail, but um, with um, acry acrylic overlay, like... Number one, you don't want it to be too thick, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too thin as well. You want to give the nail some kind of structure. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what tips to give for this. Sometimes I use one bead, sometimes I use two. So I don't really have a method myself. I just have to keep looking at the, the um, structure of the nail from all angles, like from above. From the side and from beneath to make sure that no acrylic is getting stuck underneath the natural nail because it's not like it's um an artificial nail like a nail tip where i can just go under and use the e-file to file the acrylic off um i don't do that for acrylic overlay i just make sure that i'm really careful with my application to make sure that no acrylic gets underneath the natural nail so i don't have to go and do that because sometimes you may overestimate how much acrylic you've put there and file into the actual natural nail and that obviously will not be good for your client in terms of their nail growth because you will basically you know be doing the opposite so I just make sure that my application is really neat. My beads aren't too runny because when your beads are too runny and too wet, that's what causes it to like flood and flow everywhere. So you need to make sure your beads have a good consistency and um, you're using a good monomer that's not like quick setting, especially if you don't work fast. You wanna make sure that the monomer you're using um, basically allows you enough time to work the bead so that you can get a nice like smooth application. And I think here you see me going back to the pinky nail and adding one more bead. Yeah, to, um, I don't know, even out the structure. This is why I say, like, always look at it from different angles. Because you can think it looks fine from the top. But then when you look at it at the side, you see, like, one dip in the nail. And you need to make sure, obviously, that you fix that um, before you go in and file. So, yeah, you guys can just watch my application. Um, bear in mind, it is in real time. So you guys can, like see what it's like doing it in real time um because sometimes i feel like speeding up the videos is quite deceptive because it doesn't ever go that fast like honestly if you see my previous videos obviously i speed it up like much more faster than it actually is um and that can create the illusion of obviously me doing things harshly me not taking my time for example with filing and you know beginners might think oh why is it taking me so long but trust me guys it actually does take quite long um so just watch this, um, me do application, and yeah, that's pretty much it.
so guys now i'm filing the side walls of the nail just to like um clean up the shape like i said before i didn't really file her i didn't file her natural nails at all prior to application but obviously now that i've applied the acrylic i'm just going in and making sure the shape is nice and clean and i'm using an 80 80 grit nail file but i made sure to um score the ends of this nail file especially because you know it's her natural nails so i didn't want it to be too sharp on her natural nails um because obviously 80 80 is most likely for like acrylic enhancements like obviously like proper acrylics with tips and extensions so um yeah just make sure you're not being too harsh and then i'm going in with a um 180 grit sanding band the same one that i use um just to smoothen out the surface of the nail and then also seal the cuticles and like this is good because you guys can really see me take my time with this because i feel like this is like the worst part when it's sped up like it's so deceptive so you guys can see like how i actually take my time like i really do take my time when i use an e-file number one you don't want to hurt your client you don't want to you know cut into their cuticles or whatever you want to make sure you're taking your time going around the cuticles making sure that they're sealed um, and the acrylic is like like flush to the natural nail because like any sort of gaps like obviously that can cause lifting can cause water to enter the nail and then your client could get a greenie like there's so many reasons as to why you need to make sure that you seal the cuticles properly um but yeah so just the important thing to take away from this is just take your time when you're doing that because it just even makes the results much more better much more smoother so yeah And now I'm just going in with a buffer just to buff the nails lightly um, and then after I go in with my buffer I'll just go in with a lint free wipe they say they're lint free but guys there's lint on them like every time not lint on them but every time you 
use it there'll be lint left on the nails so i do need to find some really good ones i saw that kiara sky came out with like lint free wipes on their instagram a while ago actually um i don't know if they actually brought them out but i might have to look into getting some from them because whenever i use these there'll be like hair left on the nails which kind of defeats the purpose but yeah that's what i use with alcohol just to like clear off the remaining dust from the nails before i go in and do the black french tips which is what i'm doing now and i'm using the color i think it's called serious black from neo nails um and this liner brush um just to draw the french tips and also this too is in real time so you guys can see how i take my time when i do french tips um yeah french tips are nice and simple but they're so long to do but yeah you guys can see basically what i'm doing um the brush like where i got my brush from the website doesn't exist anymore so i don't honestly don't know where to tell you what to get this brush from um but there are similar ones just make sure that you use a long thin brush like and even if you buy a long brush and you need to thin it down you can just literally use your cuticle nippers to like nip a few of the hairs off just to make it thin um because it really does help with applying gel especially for french tip so those are my tips to be honest um yeah
yeah i lost some footage for the thumb but oh well um so now that i've <laughs> i've cured the um gel polish i'm going in with some hard gel um i think this is the ibd hard gel i think that's what it is um and i'm going in with this like rustic cross i think it is R is it rustic i don't know but um i got this from nail chemist uk is it I think so, yeah. Nail Chemist UK on Instagram. Um, yeah. My mind keeps going blank, guys. So I'm just literally just applying that with hard gel. And then I'm going around making sure that I'm locking it in with the hard gel. And then after, I'm using Acrylic's Extreme Shine Top Coat. It's my new fave. I'll leave my code down below for you guys to purchase and get 10% off your purchases. That's what I'm using now to basically top coat the nails and then we're basically done guys um acrylic overlay is just it's actually one of my fave things to do because it literally takes for me like an hour and a half maximum um to do an acrylic overlay even I feel like that's, that's long I feel like it takes me like maybe like, okay an hour and a half tops depending on the design but usually no longer than an hour because it's really you know it's very simple you're not using no tips you're not filing no tips like you skip out a whole step and it's just so much more easy and nice and yeah so that's pretty much it guys um if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click the like button comment down any questions you have below um follow my instagram too guys if you haven't glamour underscore i think the link is in the description already um add my snapchat because i feel like i never plug myself so guys just add me on everything um once again thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video